What's up guys, it's Grand Marquis here, and I'm finally here with my analysis of The Sims 4 Create a Sim trailer, which came out yesterday. Now, it's been a long time since I've done a trailer analysis, mainly because it's been a long time since the trailer came out, but I looked at my past trailer, and I went through to see things that I can improve. For instance, I cut off the sound in this video so that I'm not over-talking Ryan Vaughn as he walks through, and I slowed the video down so I won't have to do as much pausing, even though I'm still going to pause because it's just so many details. But I slowed it down to 45 minutes to get all dressed up, and we ain't even gonna make it to this club. So, anyway, Sims 4. La! Ryan Vaughn, and slow down like Selena Gomez. So first off, you see all the clothes, all the different scenes. I'm going to keep my button right there. Oh, also, as you see, I'm making this in my Windows Movie Maker. That way I can point things out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably put some music in here. YouTube music. So you see the direct manipulation of the thighs. You know, the way you can build Sims and for it's direct manipulation with your clicks. So many different eyes. There's 13 different eye colors. Nose manipulation. The Sims are getting way much more detailed. Shoulders. Face. Cheeks. It's just so much. It's just, like, nice. And there's so many different presets that are already available. And you can take those presets and, like, adjust them yourself. The head. I ain't even, like, I was trying to remember if you could adjust the head. I ain't know you could do the face, like, pull it out and pull it in. So I think that's cool. So now to create the goth family. Bella and Mortimer goth. 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 As you know, Bella and Mortimer are a staple family in the Sims franchise. They have been with the Sims throughout the thick and thin, the one, two, three, and the fours. And, you know, they start off as adults in the Sims. Then the Sims 2, Mortimer was old and they had two kids, Alexander and Cassandra, or Cassandra, however you pronounce it. And since the Sims 3 took place before all three games, they were children, just meeting each other. I never realized that this was them until right now. Well, when the first trailer came out. But yeah. So yes, we're creating them. Right off the bat, let's look at these options right here. So, you see he clicked the face. You have these facial options. You see the skin tone the hair, the hats, the accessories, and I don't know, I guess the face makeup stuff that they always had. Sims are so freaking pretty in The Sims 4. Except the eyelashes. I finally see what all the fuss about the eyelashes is because I didn't realize it was eyelashes. I actually thought that it was eyeliner. And so far only girls have it, but I'm pretty sure they'll adjust it. So you see there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty different skin tone colors and a ton of different pre made sim faces already. Super ethnic, Asian, non Asian, somewhat Native American. And I think it's pretty cool because we'll actually be able to make ethnic sims. And, ah, what's that? No, no. Ethnic Sims, and it'll be cool because say you have like an Asian and like a black Sim, and then they can actually have like a mixed baby that looks black and Asian. I like the Sims 3. So, full body. I don't know what this is. I'm guessing that's pants. Yeah, yeah, because he chose, he chose clothing. So, full body, take you back to the body. Pants, shirt, dresses. I guess this is pants. I don't know what that is then. <coughs> Excuse me. I guess this is tattoos. Um, Accessories and shoes. So nice, she got her some figure. He's adjusting her figure, giving her you no know, smaller waist, bigger hips because he has that hourglass figure. As she, as no, as Ryan said in the video, you can you can always watch the regular video without me talking and without it being slowed down. Just check it out on YouTube. But yeah, so he's editing her thighs. It's just it's just so nice. Right off, you see the boots, too, with the, the boot system that they have, where the pants can either fit into the boots or go over. And since these are skinny jeans, they go into the boots. And then you have the weight and muscle sliders over there. Do, 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 do. The boob adjuster. Adjust the boob. Grab the boobs. Make the boobs look nice. And that booty, though. That booty. That's what you can also adjust, that booty. 
so this is just a flashback to The Sims 3, which I finally see all the pudginess that The Sims 3 had. They really are pudgy, and they really did look alike. Like, no matter how much you edit them, they still look alike. So, the hair looks, I, I mean, it looks nice, but I do like The Sims 4 hair better. Now, I think it fits the style, and The Sims 3 look good because it fit the style of The Sims 2. Not Sims 2, but The Sims also in 3. So, and the hair in The Sims 4 is getting way much more detailed, like, it's so, it's getting nicer, and it's going to look way much more nice before the game even starts. You can also see the shadows on his faces from the hair, which, I'm not worried about the eyelashes, because I know that they'll fix them before the game finally comes out. So you see the man have the same options right there. He's just adjusting his face. Yeah, the shadow is all over his body. The hair, they can fix the ends still, but like I said, I know they'll fix them. The broadness of the shoulders. He's very muscular. He looks sort of Hawaiian. And I like how you can even have a fat belly and be muscular. And there's Unatu, that Hawaiian roller coaster ride. Yeah, men have the same options as women because it's just clothing. And you can adjust the feet, which I was trying to remember. He didn't do the hands, but the feet you can still adjust. So, also, you see the men body and tattoos. The same color as the women had and different presets. Yeah, I, I like the different presets. Again, which you can still, they're just the bases. You can still edit around them. See, make them fat, make them skinny. Tattoos, I didn't see a tattoo section for women, but I noticed at the end there is a woman with tattoos, so it's not exclusive to the man. So we're going into the detail mode. Very detailed. Or not. Or nah. Oh no, we're going through different hairstyles. Straight off the bat, you notice there are a ton of hairstyles so far. Which is looking good, because The Sims 3 was lacking in the hair and clothes. And the hair and clothes in this base game looks nice. Yeah, and they even have different ethnic hairstyles too. Like, they're not just white hairstyles. This one, I like. The little braid ponytail. I like that one. She sort of looks like Angela Bassett. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The braids. Braid dreads, whatever. Hopefully they work on the edges more. Nice Asian lady with the little pinup. Little fluffy. This reminds me of like the 70s, like the 70s black hairstyle. And then it's sort of the same thing, but this time it doesn't have braids. She's She has a pretty face. Do, do, do. Pretty face. So we're going to Bella. Now we're about to adjust her clothing. Mm -mm, or not. Oh no, we're about to make Mortimer. Okay, so men have the same options. Yeah, we've been through this. He's about to choose his body. My body is your party. Clothes. First time we get to see clothes. As you see, there are five sections to clothes. Swim. Er, dang it, no. I was about to say sunwear, then I was about to say swimwear. Everyday wear, formal wear, athletic, sleepwear. And party wear a new section that has never been in the game. I guess if you want to go party, you wear different clothes. But one section that's lacking is swimwear, which a lot of people notice. But I just noticed this empty space like right now. Maybe that's where swimwear, because swimwear shouldn't be that hard to develop. And then also the clothes branch out. So you see he chose shirts and it goes out to like long sleeve, t-shirts, sweaters, tank tops, jackets, vests. Which I think is cool. And hopefully you can wear the clothes on top of each other. Because you see the X. So maybe you can wear sweaters on top of sweaters. Shirts on top of shirts. All these different shoes. Into his face. All these different ethnics. All the different eyebrows. It's just so much variety. The nose is. In case you want to get a nose job. Lip job. Hair. Look at this. The men seem to even have more hair than the women. Which is like surprising because in The Sims 3, the boys lacked a lot in hair and clothes. It was all about the girls. Now, I hope it's not all about the boys in The Sims 4, but it's nice to see that they're not lacking. And even the hair is divided. Short hair, long hair, long gist hair, I'm guessing. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss that for the girls. Stubble, beard, full on beard. Mm -mm. And then, oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, but you also notice you had the little check mark. So if you want the colors to match your root hair color, like they had in The Sims 3, that's what I'm assuming. No, I still missed the thingy. Okay, it'll come up later. So here we go. Have Mortimer Goth. 
We're back to Bella. Now we're going into the detail mode. So he's adjusting her eyebrows. It's just so much to adjust. The eyes, the eye corner, everything lights up on the face, like really. Like everything is lighting up. You can adjust like every detail of the face. The top lip, the bottom lift, 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 lip. I can't say it. Cleft chin. I wonder, could you adjust that? Because she doesn't have a cleft chin, but we've seen some with cleft chins. The, like, cheeks, the back cheeks. It's just so much detail. And the eyebrows do look nice and textured. I wonder how it'd be, like, how you know when it's pulling or when it's curving. Like, how do you choose which way to fold it? You know what I mean? Like, how you make the difference between the eyebrows just moving them up and down or curving them. Yeah. Like that. I don't know. I don't know. They'll go into more detail. <clears throat> the mustache. Mustache. He has a nice mustache. It goes with the Mortimer Gothness. It's just so much detail. It's, it's, it's not even funny. So, hair. Oh no, wrinkles. You can add wrinkles now. Which, we noticed that some other Sims have wrinkles. But you can finally add wrinkles to like adults to make them look a little bit older. Which I think is cool. I hope they'll be like I wonder if they'll be genetic. So, he's not an elder, but he sort of looks like an elder. And then Bella has that big smile. So, he's giving her, you know, fuller lips. Whoosh. So that she can have that big smile. And if you've seen the teeth since then, they've released another picture. Because the gurus are always updating their photos. And it, the, the Sims have gums now. And the teeth already look better in like the week since this video has came out. And it's the same week now that I realize that. So here we go. Got Bella. Got Mortimer. Our two goth sims. The gothic family. Now to add their clothing. Or to change up their clothes. You can change your hair and you can change your clothes. You can change your mind. It's just the way it goes. You can say goodbye or you can say hello. Or go through all the different hairstyles. It's a ton. ton of different colors too. So maybe those colors we saw. It's even more. It's just like. Those are like the base colors. So they finally stuck with this hair. What, what just happened? Okay, now they're going through the clothes. Which looks super nice. They look super cute. Like for real though, they do look super cute. Look, that's so freaking nice. Look at that dress. Look at his jacket. And finally, the clothes of the goths. And then, if you don't remember, accessories are now addable. Like you can add on accessories. And you see necklace, banglets, watch, bracelets, stockings, and socks. So, he added her some stockings to her dress. Even hats, even though it doesn't show hats right now. The jewelry actually looks 3D. It doesn't look like it's like a part of their skin, even though it doesn't move, which it's okay. Uh, makeup. What I was going to show is that the makeup, and that's what I was going to show with the other things too, with Mortimer. I forgot what I was showing, but it's you it's still customizable to every like outfit like do you want it just for this outfit or not you see you have the little colors um i guess that's what's it called um eyeshadow eyeshadow eyeliner blush lipstick costume makeup so the makeup looks nice they showed a picture with like same scene with three different makeups and she looked casual then she looked sort of perky and then she looked like Tiffany from Bride of Chucky and um now you see the tattoos so the tattoos they aren't click and pull like the Sims 2 was Sims 2 Sims 3 were was it's it's already like pre-made but the sleeves look super nice and you see they're already on different parts of the body you just click which ones you want and they look super detailed they look super badass but apparently they don't fit Mortimer Goth because he doesn't go with these. Like, they look so nice. The Sims 3 tattoos were, like, pixelated and ugly. Like, I never use tattoos, but I'm going to use them on this. And they, like, go with the personality. Mm-hmm. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Wipe out! He sort of looks like he's having trouble breathing. <laughs> so, they added something to the game that they call Style Looks. So, you know... If you want to, if you, if you saw it, you can, you can see this, like, his style looks, but 
you have to realize that they rehashed a ton of things in The Sims, but they just changed the names, which is one reason why I was disappointed that traits are still called traits and that they're basically the same thing in 3. But, I mean, some people saw style looks. When I looked at this, I saw outfits. It's, no re it's not really not any different from The Sims 3 outfits, besides the fact that it already comes with, like, the hat and the jewelry and the shoes and different colors. One, two, three. It's, it's basically outfits, but just a little more advanced. But they gave it a different name, so... That's why I was disappointed that traits are still called traits because, I mean, just give it a different name. I know you're going to reuse stuff, so, yeah. But they actually look nice. Party wear, athletic, different colors. Mm -hmm. It's it's just more advanced than the outfit system. Oh, sexy red dress. So, are we done with the goths now? Here we go. Mortimer Goth and Bella Goth with their engagement rings. I think, yeah. It didn't show them connecting the family tree, so I wonder how that's going to work out. Also, I forgot to point out that they have changed the background of Create a Sim. It's changed since Gamescom. What are, is he about to show Ryan Vaughn? I think it's about to show Ryan Vaughn. It is, isn't it? Okay, so they changed the background. You see it's different colors. Oh, wait, I got to go through this right now. Dang it. Um, One, this is the main thing that caught my eye right here. Highlights. Initially, like tattoos, they said the highlights would most likely not be in the base game. And I personally didn't see how it could fit with the hair. But it actually looks good. And you can see that it is somewhat detailed because it's not just one color. It's like going through the braid and it looks super nice. The clothes look 3D. But anyway, they changed the background of Create a Sim. It's still the same sort of color scheme, the green and blue, which is the colors of The Sims 4. It's now Blue is now a primary color, sort of. In the Sims, previous Sims, it was just like the backup color that goes with green, but now it's like the primary color along with green. And it sort of reminds me of the Sims 1 background, because it was just the background, and you were making your Sims. They took away the creepy shadows that were at Gamescom, and they took away the platform. But I like the platform. But who knows? This could change a lot from to like the release of the game, because I looked at an old Sims 3 creator Sim, and like the whole game in general looked eh. And, like, the creator sim background looks super different. Like, there were stairs and there was dressers. And so this could change. I, th I still think it's going to keep, like, the same background, but it can change some more. So, yeah. And it's, it's like, surprising me to know that The Sims 4 is still going to change a lot. Like, progress. And it they already look good to me. Like, so. See them walking. See the dude with tattoos. She got her hat on. She got, like, the wedding dress. Oh, super cute. They doing their little poses. He look like he about to go to the beach. H. Socks and sandals. Bring him back. Socks and sandals. He's matching. Ryan Vaughn. Also, the stylized looks match better than, like, the outfits in The Sims 3. And the randomization is supposed to help with, like, the matching. And here's a picture just comparing the old Ryan Vaughn to, well, not the old one, the real one, to the Sim one. And he, he, he looks good. He looks like he does. Except for his stubble, which makes me wonder, will there be stubble in the game? Because, you see, he has chin stubble right here, and his face is not. But bald's already a field in the game. I hope that they sort of make the head curvier and less blocky. Because it sort of looks like square, square, square. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Showing off his emotions. He got on the ring. I guess he's thinking about making that paper when the Sims 4 come out and they take all our money. It better not be with the store. But, anyway. So, then they're just comparing different sim gurus to their avatars, and they really do look alike. Like, especially Jill Johnson, she looks alike. Graham Nardone, sim guru Graham. He sort of looks child kiddier in The Sims 3, 4. I was about to say childerer, but it's kiddier. Azure Bowie, Bowie. Super cute, super cute. And she looks black, not like white tan sim the way sims 3 look and he actually looks like italian federico medina <laughs> i don't know getting this jean gray on over there kelly riley now she looks different than the picture she released before this came out mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. obviously she has tattoos now martin bielolo guys beard hair hat Shannon Coper. Her hair looks better. 
Mm-hmm. And Magnus Homo. Homo. Oh, this is his picture. He does look the same. Like, the picture they showed us earlier, comparing it to him, did not look like this. But overall, they really do look like people in real life. Like, hope is what I have. Jackie Gratz. Hmm. <laughs> Sunder Ayer. Whoa, look at him. Like, when I was watching this in fast mode, I was seriously getting confused at which one was the Sim and which one was the Guru. Because they really do. Christine Liu. They really do look nice. Matthew Salazar. He looks funny. Like his him and him. So, it's going to be nice to see that, like the emotions. Now, if you notice here, they're showing off the walk styles. And Graham has on this slouchy walk style, which was not present at Gamescom. So, apparently they have added another walk style. The slouchy one. Because there was just the perky one, the regular one, and the swagger one. And people were thinking it was the swag one, but no, it's it's not. Watch. That's slouchy. Regular, regular. Slouch, 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 slouch. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Now tell me, do you really want that? No, she has the perky one. Bella has the perky one. Perky, 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 perky. I really hope that it doesn't look as feminine with like the boy. See what? Slouchy. And then swagged out. This is the Swag Dad Walk. So that was really when I realized that they added a new walk style. Because at first I was thinking it was the Swag Dad one too. But then he's like, now it's time for the Swag Dad Walk. And I was like, wait. So that's a different walk style. Now they're changing the voice. But you can't hear that because there's no sound. But I don't know. They're not showing any sliders. But we know from previous gameplay video that it's like right here in the corner. You just slide it. So yeah, changing up the voice. Our sims are made, he's made the gurus, and now it's time to give them traits. So you see, not all images represent actual gameplay, because I'm pretty sure they won't pop up like this. But hopefully traits add more to the personality, because they said the same thing about The Sims 3, but it doesn't seem so. And it's the exact same, no, it's the exact same traits. But now you have aspirations that are back from The Sims 2, and you see they connect. I don't know if you choose them or if they just choose it itself. I'm pretty sure you choose them. I don't see why the, you wouldn't be able to choose it. Renaissance Sim, that was a lifetime wish in 3. But the difference is, aspirations give you another trait. And he has the trait to let him learn skills faster. And don't take this for like for like hardcore concrete facts that there will only be three traits that we can choose. I'm pretty sure there might be more. But I mean, that would make them more unique because you have to choose the ones to make them so romantic. Mm -mm -mm. Outgoing and friendly. I'm pretty sure that was the last one. Active. Active. There you go. So. Who? 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 So, yes. Same same names. Huh? It's, spo it's supposed to be less traits than four, though. So, I wonder which one they're taking out. I hope they put some together, like Hopeless Romantic and Great Kisser, and just make it into Romantic. So, she's a friend to the world. And the trait that she gets from being a friend to the world aspiration is that she can make friends faster. And also, as you complete aspirations, I don't know if they're going to be, like, wishes for them. They're supposed to be whims, thoughts. But I don't know how you complete an aspiration. I don't know the, like... The, the task to complete the aspiration but there will also be secondary aspirations which were in the sims 2 also so you'll be able to get in their trait you can get a ton of new traits maybe there will just be three because you can get one from a job you can get one from aspirations there's a ton of ways to get new traits you can get them from learning the skill all the way like so i mean which sort of co in size with real life because you can get different your personality can expand in real life that's what I'm trying to get to. So yes, the goth family, as I've said three times before. But they look super cute. They look just like the renders, which gives me hope because the Sims 4 renders so far look just like the in-game photos, not fake like the Sims 3. Sims 3 looked like you had to put Sims 3 in the corner to realize that it was actually the Sims 3. So now, there you go, adding the hats to different classes, earrings, glasses, more. The mohawk that's highlighted. He has tattoos. Grand Nardone. That would be funny. Imagine if he did look like that. And there's the girl with tattoos. Sim Gurali has tattoos. So, girls will have tattoos. So many different nice freaking clothes. Like, the clothes are so nice. The Sims look beautiful and amazing. The game looks beautiful and amazing. I am ready for E3. 
in like two weeks. Yep, still changing more clothes. You can change your hair and you can change your clothes. Your makeup. Oh, that's a nice little sweater. Nice little hat. Hey, get it, get it, get it. I said, baby, I do it. I thought the true do it. So now, boom, we're in the world. You can tell from the trees and the scenery that this is like the New Orleans type world. And you can also see a Sam walking, okay? It's, it's still people who are skeptical on if this is an open world or not. And I'm just like, like it's an open world. Like, there's no question about it. The same way people was like, are there other life stages? Which I could sort of see that more than the open world because they haven't shown any yet. But it's an open world. People still now, after seeing this video, are still like, is it an open world? Like, so there's a Sam walking. And they're about to create a house super fast. So, let's dissect this over here. Over here you see that you have house. I guess that's like walls and roofing and stuff. Then you see room. And you have all your rooms. You have simple furniture. So you can choose the furniture the way, or I guess by category. Then you have the family inventory. And then also something new, you have a search bar. So if you, you know, having a hard time trying to find stuff, just look it up in the search bar. Um, okay, you can't see the stuff up there because I paused it. But adding rooms, moving the rooms. Anyway, the back button, the forward button, the save, the eyedropper tool. The, the like what's it called bulldozing tool you can move rooms as we already knew but it still just looks amazing to see that add in um, the patio like they're actually gonna make me use patios which I never used doom expanding the rooms just pulling it out the chair even the chairs moving I pointed at it with my finger I didn't even notice that the roof looks nice the roof is on fire and the house Full of sims. But something even more that you may realize. The background. The background. So it seems that this is an actual city. And not just a suburban town like most of the Sims 3 cities were. There's an actual city. So it reminds me of the Sims 2 Belladonna Cove. Yeah, that's what it was called. And they don't look as, as clear. So that's people were like, is it a backdrop? But if you also notice, there's another city... In a previous photo that came out like in August with the dew and it showed like fine and it looked all European and in the background it looked like a European background and people are saying you know still is this an open world or would it load if you go over here which makes sense but I think what happened is that one they're either using the tilt shift feature which people sort of said they probably are. Because you can notice that in different pictures that it looks blurred out in the background. But I hope not because I like seeing all my focus. Or the draw distance is just not that high. Or just the simple fact that to save graphical capabilities and not put as much strain on your computer. They're just not as focused. And these do look like rabbit holes. These are like places of employment. Which I'm fine with being rabbit holes. But I'm pretty sure there are some nightclubs in there which you can see. Some restaurants in there which you can hopefully see. And now back to the house. House looks nice. The windows aren't see-through. I hope that they change that before the game comes out because I would like to see through the window. The shadow, if you also notice, the front of the house is actually on like this path that leads to the city. There are many paths that lead to the city. This is actually the side of the house on the street. Fire hydrant. I noticed there's no garage. So maybe cars still teleport, which I would hope not. But I mean... That's not really a make or break for me either. I just would hope that they don't teleport. So yes, this is the house. Like I said, the, the mailbox. That's what led me to realize that the front of the house is actually on the sidewalk, which I think is cool. So, in there, having a party, having to get together. What is this popping up? No, stop. Having to get together. The house is nicely furnished, the couches. If you notice, they all have their drinks sitting on the table, and they'll like continue to get them while they're talking. This guy has an iPad or a tablet, which they had in Sims 3, but it was through store content, as to be expected. Um, they all have drinks, sitting down, conversing to each other, looking at each other. Bella's talking to Mortimer. It's just nice. It's nice. Showing emotion. She's using her hands to talk. Ryan gets up. Now notice this as Ryan gets up. Watch, watch his hand. Watch his hand. He grabs the chair. But he didn't grab it. Now everyone's like, oh my god, that's a glitch. I, I, No, they need to fix that. Which I agree they need to fix that. But you know what Ryan not grabbing the chair shows me? 
shows me that this is real gameplay footage. Fli footage. This is real gameplay footage. So, like, the fact that he missed the chair shows that this is not, like, set up. This is actual gameplay footage, which reassures me because it looks nice. It looks amazing. It looks Sims for amazing. Yeah, so he gets up. He misses the chair. Actual gameplay footage. He walks over. And then he starts to talk to Bella. He joins their conversation. She's talking to all three. They're all looking at her. They form like this little triangle. Mortimer's reacting. Ryan's listening. Aja, she's looking up. Like she's actually like listening to the conversation too. And she's not even a part of it. Or maybe she is. Because I know you can talk to Sims when they're sitting now. Maybe they're all having one big group conversation. The Sims 3 who are on the TVs now are in the background on the TV. And they're all just having a nice time talking together, enjoying life in The Sims 4, which looks amazing. And, I mean, I want to live The Sims 4 life. And then we get that final shot of them outside sitting on the patio, the nice water. I hate that the quality doesn't look as great on my computer, but, I mean, you can see it in real life yourself. And the background, which there's even more city. I think that's the end. That looks like a dam right there. So... The city looks big and promising, and I hope it is big and promising, but I just hope that it is not empty. The Sims 3 was big and promising, but what made it not as promised was that it was empty. There were no Sims in The Sims 3, so I hope that they fix that and put a ton of Sims in the game to spark it up. End of the road right there. Although we've come to the end of the road... Oh, I can't let go. And that is The Sims 4 for you guys. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, at the end of the video, they mentioned that there will be a Build by Mo video coming out soon. Let's pause this while they're making out. That nice little make out option right there. That looks cute. Reminds me of The Sims 2. It's all flirty. And she's sort of missing his body. She wouldn't hone it all the way, which lets us know that this is real gameplay too, even though they put it like on the trailer. But they announced that there will be a build by mode, well not by mode, build mode trailer coming out. They didn't say when. I was really hoping that he would be, he's like, you know, in our next build mode trailer, and I thought that he would say the date, but not. Maybe it'll come out before E3, maybe not. Who knows? E3 is just in two weeks, and finally the information will start spilling from there. Hopefully we'll get our first real trailer, which I can dissect. And it just looks great. It's turning out to be promising also if you notice i have the may the fourth be with you as my screen saver on my laptop but yeah it, was, it, it just looks nice i'm ready for them to confirm aspects on the city because people are still wondering if that's a backdrop or not but i don't think it is that's the real city so yeah i think i think that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope to talk to you guys super soon about some sense for info yeah have a good night and day Talk to you guys later. Bye.